Okay, here's another boring video where I'm just going to sit here and sew. <laughs> but you tell me that you enjoy watching me work and crafting along with me, so we're going to go for it. This is a piece of lace that I just received in one of my Happy Mails yesterday. And I'm going to put that right on the front. So I'm just going to sew some laces along the edges of my papers, some of the papers. Six papers to be exact. And let them extend off the edges some. Using the zigzag stitch. So I still have um, the laces and things that I had out for my sister's journal, although I may use different ones for this. Now because this is um, in a bit, I don't want it to you know, be too floppy, so I'm going to do a straight stitch closer to the edge of the paper just to hold the lace down better. And then I'll do one that's closer to the center. I'll do it on this, and it'll be on the back side of the center, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Guess I'll do this one. It's a pretty lace from Hobby Lobby that looks like kind of like bows. Next, I can do this pink lace on this one. I'm wondering what y'all are doing today. No, I'm not a southerner. I don't usually say y'all. <clears throat> are you crafting while you watch this? And if so, what are you making? So this is a bit wider, like the first one that may require two rows of stitching.
Pardon me. What else do I have over here? I can add this one. Not the fringy one. My sister doesn't like the crocheted trims, so I didn't put them in her journal. I happen to love the crocheted trims. And this one, I believe, I don't know where it came from. Somebody sent it to me. So I don't know if it's new or vintage, but I like it. more signature to go. Sorry, I'm not talking. I feel like I need a vacation. And really, what I want is a vacation from everything but being in here. And this is my job. What kind of a vacation is that? I just want to spend time in here, but Other things are getting in the way. I, I'm having a hard time being able to stick to work hours. This is my job. This is how I earn money. But things come up and I can actually do what I want. You know, as far as time, I have, I'm not um, answerable to a boss. So. As far as childcare, my grandchildren, I'm always available to watch them, which I love to do. They're fun kids, mostly. They have their moments. And a lot of the stuff I get called away for is just to, you know, do things with people, which is nice. But if I had a job, I'd just have to say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm working. <laughs> so I really need to work on sticking to my to some work hours. It doesn't have to be 40 hours a week. Although it is, usually, probably more if I, you know, while I'm watching TV, I'm doing stuff for journals usually cutting something out or um, packing, packaging up things like my slide, slide mounts or playing cards and seam binding and stuff, packaging stuff up for my shop. I'm just always doing something for the shop, but I don't know. I'm just rambling. I just don't ever seem to have enough time in here to actually be creative, you know? I've got to make changes. Especially with summer coming on because kids won't be in school so I'll be watching them more 
usually I just watch the boys during the school year, but my granddaughter needs to need somebody during the summer. So I get real busy with watching kids in the summertime. They're old enough now they can, you know, do stuff while I work, but it's it's a lot harder. Okay, so I've got the edges done. I am going to sew two of these fabric pockets that I made. See, I'll put them in this order, so I have the white one in the middle. And I will use the first and third signatures to use some of these pockets that we made in the previous video. And this book is even narrower. This one fits without being cut. I already made that one small enough. I just said I had it would fit without being cut and then I grabbed scissors, but that's because it was slanted, so I just evened up the top. So I am goes this way. I am just going to sew this pocket on right there. Someone asked if I could make some of these little pockets for my shop, and I would love to. Um, I have a lot of vintage sheets to use, and you know, lots of little scraps of lace and stuff, so I could easily make them for my shop if I find the time to do it. They don't take that long, but when you sit down to do a batch, you want to put probably three in a set, and you want quite a few sets. It's going to take a chunk of time. But I would love to do that. about that. I think well, <laughs> I might be able to to make it work, but just for comfort's sake, I'm just going to trim a tiny bit off. This is a little bit uneven there, and I can trim that without cutting the sewing. Maybe I won't have to sew, re-sew, because I just trimmed off the excess that was hanging off the stitching, and that works. So there's another one. My mother admires my journals. She's always asking me, what are you working on now? And She likes to see what I've made. I don't show her every journal, but I show her the ones I think she'd really like. She doesn't care for the domestic arts journals. <laughs> they're too messy. But I like them because they're messy. But she doesn't journal. She's never been a journaler. and She just didn't strike me as someone who would want a journal and they they moved and had to get rid of a lot of stuff and I know she didn't want extra stuff around she's never expressed an interest in owning one of my journals she just likes to look at them but when I was telling her about Annette my sister requesting a journal and I just thought I needed to ask her so I said, you wouldn't want a journal, would you? And she said, after a moment, she said, yeah, I think I would. <laughs> and 
and I said, would you write in one? And that doesn't matter to me. If she doesn't want to write in it, she doesn't have to. It's not a requirement for having a journal. She can just look at it. And she said, I think I would. So she likes Victorian. So I would like to make that for her for Mother's Day. So there's another themed journal I need to make. I am going to put some lace at the bottom of this page. Just trying to find the kind of lace I want at the bottom. Thought I had it out here. But well, I have another spool of it, I'm sure. where this was. Right I'll use the fringy one here. My mother is an artist. She she can paint paintings. She has sold some of her paintings. I have a lovely landscape painting hanging in my living room. But she started that kind of late in life after most if not all of us had flown the coop. But she was always doing something creative. Knitting, crocheting, tatting, embroidering sewing all of our clothes, at least the girls, and her own clothes, um, and baking, and you know, she's very domestic. That's where I get it from. I love to be domestic. And besides painting paintings, she also paints glassware, paints designs on glassware, and then she can buy um, resin or wooden figures and then paint them. And she just does beautiful, beautiful work. And she's, she went to craft shows for years and sold her pieces. And, and she gave us girls some along the way. And, when she moved, she still had boxes of this stuff. She doesn't do the craft shows anymore. So we got a lot of stuff. She just gave me, um, just yesterday when I went to see her, she gave me uh, a pair of tall skinny bunnies, a couple. They're you know, kind of country looking, but they're so cute. You know, I sewed that down a lot further than I wanted to. I just wanted the fringe to hang off. So probably when I'm not on camera, I'm going to take that out and move it up. That is way too long, and I just wasn't thinking. I'll fix that. But she has this little bunny that she painted that's on um, like a rocker, like a rocking horse. And it's so cute. She, she kept that one. That's a decoration. 
in the common room at, at her apartment building. She decorates the, the common room with her pieces and everybody loves it. And I told her, I love that and I want my name on it. <laughs> she just laughed. But she gave me a little drummer boy yesterday too, but his he's not a Christmas drummer boy. He has a red, white, and blue drum, so he's a little patriotic drummer boy, and he's so cute. And I don't have patriotic decorations, really, but I'll put him out in the summer. I'm glad I have a lot of pieces that she's made. Instead of doing a fabric flip, it's going to be a lace flip. My sister loved this lace. And so I just put it on as a flip and I'll do that. I'll do the same in this book. It fans out, so I have to trim it a little straighter. And I want some of the lace to stick up out of the, off the top. This in this signature too. Yeah. This page. And then on the middle signature I will do a fabric flip. And then that will probably be the end of this video. Okay, fabric flip. Take some of these squares and find a piece that I like. I can hear the wind blowing out there. I like windy days. I'm going to have to see if I have time to take a walk today. I should just make time to take a walk today. Yes, that's what I will do.
definitely want to add some color. that black page. These, these edges are pink, but it's a very, very small zigzag pink. So if I wanted to match the edges, I'd have to trim all the way around with my pinking shears because that's got a larger zigzag to it. I'm just going to leave it. Here's a piece that I stamped. I moved that down from the top so that it would show underneath this lace. So I'm just going to attach that before I sew it to the page. I'm going to turn the camera off here and I'm going to fix this fringy piece. And then maybe I'll come back to see what else we need to do. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye bye.